Uh, see you at the pep rally this afternoon? Zombies don't do pep rallies. We'll think about it. <laughs> okay, can we like crack a window open in here? It stinks of human. <laughs> Look at her, she's so excited! She's so Cameron excited! Cameron announcing the world. You are! <laughs> That's Cameron's 16-year-old son, Milo, following in her footsteps as he stars in the new Disney Channel movie, Zombies. Do you know all the words? Did you run lines with him? No, actually, I didn't run lines with him, but I do know all the words because I've seen it <laughs> so many times, and uh, we're just so excited about it that, you know, it's... Uh, uh, one of the songs in Zombies got to 1.5 million hits yesterday, so it's been pretty exciting. Come on, Mom, with the stats. I don't even stats. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on, Mom, like, with I the don't stats. Even know. No, I don't even know. Like, there's an emoji of my son, and I, I wrote, I put it on my on my Facebook page. I go, there's an emoji of my son. I'm not exactly sure what that means because I'm oh, 100, <laughs> but I think that's a good thing. But I'm pretty sure it's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so he's in the business. He clearly is the apple of your eye. So how do we feel about this? What advice? How are we sort of navigating this? Were you apprehensive at all? Well, you know, I didn't have an agent and he wasn't auditioning. He was just doing a high school musical and a casting director saw him and asked if he would want to audition for this. And I thought, oh, this will be good humbling experience for him. He'll audition. <laughs> There's no way they're giving him this role. It's the lead, leading man. And, um, you know, he went, he got a call back. I'm like, that's great, honey. Good for you. A call back. So awesome. <laughs> prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself for the failure. You know, two callbacks, three, ten callbacks over three months. Disney, man. And I'm like, wow, this is going to be hard when he doesn't get this. Ten? And then. What was, the most you, what was the most you'd ever been, like the most you'd ever been called back for a role? Not that much. I have never been called back that often. It, it's, you know, Disney's its own very special creature because they're finding brand new talent that mm -hmm. Milo had never been in a movie or on screen before. So they really need to make sure that the chemistry is right between you and the other actors. And, you know, it was, it was one of the most exciting nights of our life when he found out and then to do it he says it's just been like summer camp it's the funnest thing he's ever done and as long as he stays in school and gets great grades and has you know just he's in the school play he's on the volleyball team and he's look at him dance. Feeling it. wait here he's coming he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. i know i know all the moves boom <laughs> now is this is he been bitten by the bug is this what he wants to do has he sort of seen his sort of dream come to fruition i mean when you have an experience like this with you know 30 kids and you're dancing and singing and doing acrobats and tap dancing it's I mean, fun who's not going to want to do that again yeah he loves it it's his it's his dream now. He wants to do this the rest of his life. Now, were you apprehensive, though, at any point? I mean, you've, you've seen, we were just talking in the break, you've seen the good in this, you've seen the bad in it. Were sure. you ever like, what's your backup plan? Yeah, um, of course. I, backup plans are really important. I, my father taught me that. That's why I'm a sign language interpreter. So when I was studying to be an actor, I was um, signing for all kinds of different... Really? Yep, environment. And I also just did a Broadway play with the Deaf West, so it integrated into my life as an actor as well. So he will need a backup plan. We don't know what that is yet, because he's done 20 musicals. He's 16 years old. It's what he knows and loves. Mm -hmm. But he'll, he'll have one, but... Um, you know, he loves to direct and edit. He just loves the whole thing. He grew up on sets, and that's what he loves to do. So. Mom, he's 16, so college is coming. Are you going to be okay when he flies the coop? No, I no, know. No. You going to go with him? You going to go with him? I feel like I'm already mourning. Yeah, I'm like, go to Juilliard, because I have an apartment right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> or USC is a great school. Right. And I don't know. I'm, I'm preparing myself for it. It's hard. It's hard for any parent, but I'm a single mom, and he's just, you know, my my the heir to the throne the golden boy there so i want to job wanna... well done I was gonna mom say, you're such a, a good boy. job as a product of a single mom you are killing it Thank you. it is very clear i just want to keep him grateful and humble and if he wants to do this I'm glad he found what he loves to do. I love now it. I'm just watching your hands. I did not know. Yeah, I would like you can to see it, right? My name is That's so great. However you do it. Are you liking comedy? We think of you more with drama. Now yeah. I'm thinking comedy and with an audience. I know everybody thinks of me as somebody who came from drama because you know me from the practice, but I started in college improv and doing comedy. And so it's really getting back to my roots. And I also come from the theater. So I feel like it's doing a little play every week because we do it in front of a live studio audience. So I feel very much at home 
I don't like the fact that they rewrite it every day. Because as you get too. older, yeah. you're like, what? Wait, wait, that wasn't, words? My, that wasn't wait. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what I said. But the best thing about it is the cast. You will recognize a lot of people on it. Sarah Gilbert and Jay Ferguson and, you know, Johnny Galecki. She has three it. shows now, Sarah Gilbert. Yeah, she is the super one. She's my hero. Oh, I'm, I I'm have such a girl crush on her, it's not even <laughs> funny. Like, Sorry, if I was a real lesbian in real life, it would be <laughs> Rachel Maddow, Sarah <laughs> is Gilbert. Is this the wish list? Wait, who's the third? And Gal Gadot. Oh, hey, I'll hey, I'll take you now. Hey, now. I think those are good ones. I'll take them all. <laughs> uh, Living Biblically premieres February 26th on 9.30 on its CBS.